Welcome back. Vice President Kamala Harris flying to Pittsburgh today, where she will spend five days hunkered down preparing for the ABC News presidential debate on Tuesday of next week uh, with former President Donald Trump. Here's what she said about her preparations yesterday. President Trump, meanwhile, sticking to the same prep that he did before the debate against President Biden by engaging in policy discussion with his closest confidants. ABC News announcing the official debate rules yesterday. No props, no pre-written notes will be allowed up on stage at the podiums. There will be no live audience and mics will be muted when it's not the candidate's time to speak. The Harris campaign had been pushing for hot mics during the entire debate, but the network reportedly offered, quote, assurances that if there is significant crosstalk between Harris and Trump, it may choose to turn on the mic so the public can understand what is happening. Trump was asked about Harris's bid to change the rules of the debate during his Pennsylvania town hall last night on Hannity. Watch. Did her campaign, when they said that they wanted to change the rules that they had agreed to, did they ask for notes? Did they ask for the debate? They wanted notes. They wanted to be seated and they wanted your mic hot. And they wanted a desk. They didn't want to do I said, you got to do a stand After up. After they already agreed to the other. Yeah, but they wanted a desk from the beginning. You know who else wanted a desk? Sleepy Joe. He wanted it. Jeremy Now is Republican National Committee co chair Lara Trump. Lara, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. I know that President Trump is speaking with the New York Economic Club today. I want to get your take on what he'll be talking about and, of course, the state of the race. Your reaction to all of this? Yeah, well, listen, Donald Trump wants to make America affordable again. He wants to give people their lives back. People in this country, uh, you know, everywhere have been really injured and are hurting right now by the policies of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And he wants to talk directly to the American people and say, hey, I'm the person who will actually bring jobs and manufacturing back to America. You know how I can promise you that? Because I actually did it my first term in office. He wants to talk about things that really are every day affecting Americans, like bringing mortgage prices down, housing prices, mortgage rates down and housing prices down, and actually giving the American people a plan that will work. And you contrast that with the uh, the economic speech we heard a couple weeks ago from Kamala Harris, which I think it's very evident to anyone watching and paying attention, Maria. You have two different people here. One of them actually understands the economy in Donald Trump, who is a businessman, of course, don't forget, and Kamala Harris, who I mean, it seemed like she was just kind of reading off the teleprompter. No one really understand, knows if she understands what she's saying. Of course, she said price gauging instead of price gouging. That's a plan that everybody has said would be so detrimental to the American people. And so Donald Trump is going to talk about the ways he will bring this country and our economy back. One of those things has to do with energy. We were energy independent under President Donald Trump. And you remember first day in office, what is it Kamala Harris and Joe Biden did? They shut down the Keystone XL pipeline. We have energy right now under our feet in America, and we can do it the clean way. We can do it the right way. They don't want to see that. We've heard Kamala Harris in the past talk about banning fracking. You heard Donald Trump last night at that town hall with Sean Hannity talk about how bad her plan would be for the people in Pennsylvania. You're going to hear more of that from him today, and I think it's going to be evident to anyone paying attention. There is only one person who understands how to bring this economy back running for president, Donald J. Trump. Well, this this is a, an economic audience here today at the New York Economic Club, uh, certainly, and uh, Vice President Kamala Harris finally revealed some of her economic policy during a campaign stop at a New Hampshire brewery yesterday. We understand that President Trump is going to be p is speaking to people who understand the, the issues of the economy, but Kamala Harris pared back President Biden's top capital gains tax rate proposal. Instead, she says that she's proposing an all-in top tax rate of 33 percent. That would be the highest since 1978. She wants a 28 percent capital gains tax and a 5 percent investment income tax. But again, we really don't have uh, an overall uh, clarity on what her plans would be. It's been piecemeal, as you know. She also said she wants to expand the startup expense deduction for small businesses from $5,000 to $50,000, a policy plan that the nonpartisan tax foundation says would cost about $20 billion over the next 10 years. And I know President Trump has talked a lot about tapping into energy. 